Upon entering Nino Aquino International Airport Terminal 1, we were greeted by frustrated passengers who just want to get on with their trips. They are unable to do so since flights have been cancelled in the wake of the Al volcano spewing dangerous ash throughout Metro Manila on Sunday. We came from Davao. Actually, we came from Batanes. So we cannot go back to Davao just because this flight is being cancelled. So we, do, we don't have any choice but to uh, matutulog kami sa Manila. Ngayon, ang sinabi ko sa babae, sabi ko, na mom, if it's going to be cancelled, are you going to accommodate us in the hotel? Hindi. Naghihintay kami kung anong compensation makukuha namin ng, uh, sa ganitong klase ng ano, sitwasyon. Maghihintay. Kasi kabiti kami, apektado doon, so kung uuwi, mas, mas safe na magstay dito. Since Sunday, January 12, there have been more than 170 cancelled flights, and there are around 26,000 affected passengers. Civil Aviation Authority Director General Captain Jim Sidionko explains that the entry of volcanic ash to an airplane's engine can be lethal. He says a plane's weather system is unable to detect ash clouds since these do not contain moisture. Once napasok siya sa makina ng airplano, pwede siyang makasira at pwede siyang ma mag-quit or mag-flame out o mamatay. So, yun know, ang isa sa mga delikado sa volcanic ash. Kaap says even areas outside Manila are not spared from the dangerous particles. They get their information on the projected direction of ash clouds from the Tokyo Volcanic Advisory Center. And they receive word that Clark International Airport will also be affected. Hindi natin pwede sabihin na ito siya ang volcanic ash. Pagdating sa taas, sa lakas ng hangin, babali ho siya. Depende sa direction papunta dito o papunta dyan. Well, hindi mo pwede sabihin na ah, papunta lang siya ng Manila, iwas tayo sa Clark. Pwede rin magbago ang ihip dyan and then sasakupin yung, yung airplano na yan. So it is best for us at the moment, at this point in time, to say, suspend the operation. Dahil nga sa unpredictability ng volcanic activity sa taal plus the direction ng hangin sa taas. According to Manila International Airport Authority General Manager Ed Morreal, even if the Taal becomes stable, flights will remain cancelled because of the presence of ashes in the runways. They would have to make sure that before operations fully resume, the runways are clear so planes can safely take flight and land. Chrissy Dimatulak, CNN Philippines.